Battlefield 1 versus Infinite Warfare. So both Battlefield 1 and Infinite Warfare have officially revealed their trailers. Battlefield's trailer looks better, but Call of Duty will most likely sell more copies. These are both things I would normally say, but I think this year might be different. Infinite Warfare decided to go with more futuristic exo jumps, robots, and spaceships this year. <laughs> While Battlefield 1 decided to go with classic movement in a World War 1 setting. Get ready, man! Now this is a little off topic, but I just want to say that I'm a huge fan of Counter-Strike GO, Battlefield, and Call of Duty. And even though they all technically fall under the category of being first-person shooter games, I think they're all drastically different games with different purposes. I view CSGO as a competitive tactical first-person shooter that requires a ton of knowledge about the game and a lot of teamwork in order to be successful. I view Battlefield as a war simulator where intense epic moments happen on a frequent basis and the term only in Battlefield stays true. And lastly, I view Call of Duty as a casual arcade shooter that anyone can pick up, play and have a fun time with. So why am I mentioning all of this? Well, I think because comparing these games and trying to see which one is the best is very counterproductive. It's honestly just a huge waste of time, especially since we know that Avatar Warfare is the greatest ultimate FPS experience. But seriously, I think CSGO, Battlefields, Call of Duty, and other FPS games alike are too different to be fairly compared to one another. When it really comes down to it, just play what you have fun playing and enjoy it. It doesn't even have to be any of these three games. Just play what you have fun playing. Just enjoy what you're doing. Who gives a fuck about how many dislikes a trailer has? Wait, what's that? Infinite Warfare got over a million dislikes? <laughs> okay. Who fucking cares? Look, I know we're all tired of exo jumps and future warfare, except for the four year old hipsters who started with advanced warfare, but we need to acknowledge that the majority of the dislikes are just from people who are trying to get the trailer to over a million dislikes. Congrats, achievement unlocked. PS4 gold trophy. It looks like the hate mob is going for 2 million dislikes now. Let's check out some of the comments on this trailer. Just made another account so I could hit dislike again, smiley face. It's really fun. Haha. <laughs> BF one Mio likes cod one Mio dislikes obnoxious crying laughing face open Google Plus saw cod getting raped <laughs> search video on YouTube added one dislike without watching the whole thing I'm sure at least a million others would have done the same I want to be accepted please love me as you can see this just proves my point there's clearly a ton of people who are just disliking the trailer to do it and they might not even have a legitimate reason to actually not like the game now as a longtime fan of Call of Duty I really don't care I think the infinite warfare part of the trailer looks okay and I'm really happy for Call of Duty 4 remastered but I can't sit here and try to defend another futuristic Call of Duty with exo jumps. I just can't. Even though the game looks okay from the trailer, I can't sit here and try to defend it. But all I'm trying to say is that regardless of the quality of the trailer or the actual game features, the video is clearly getting mass disliked for shits and gigs. Now it is kind of disappointing because we haven't seen actual gameplay and the Call of Duty 4 remaster is one of the best things to happen to Call of Duty in recent years. But at the same time, it is really interesting to watch all of this unfold. It seems like the Infinite Warfare trailer is breaking records every day for negative ratings on YouTube. I'm just hoping that when Activision reviews the dislikes on this trailer, they realize that it's happening because of hate mobbing, because of exo jumps and because of futuristic warfare and not because they decided to remaster a classic Call of Duty game. At this point, I could see them thinking that the dislikes are because they didn't add laser guns in the trailer or because they didn't go 10,000 more years into the future. Anyway, what makes the Battlefield 1 trailer so great? Oh. That's why. As you probably already know, Battlefield 1 is set in World War 1 with devastating trench warfare, intense dogfights, and a goddamn zeppelin. The trailer is kind of short and fast paced, and it doesn't show us too much, but it does show me enough to keep me very interested throughout the whole trailer. It seemed like nearly every second of the trailer was a very captivating moment, and that's because the trailer is grimly real and emotional. One of the most important aspects of making a World War era game is keeping it authentic. Battlefield 1's choice of weaponry, vehicles, and setting has me convinced that this will be an epic World War 1 game. One of the things I loved about Call of Duty's World at War was the voice acting. The voice actors at the time were told to shout their lines as if they were yelling above gunfire and explosions. It really sets the mood and immerses you in the game, and I think Battlefield 1 will do a damn good job at that as well. Because of all of this, Battlefield 1 has received overwhelming support on the trailer, and rightfully so. And that's because there's one thing that FPS fans crave from their game, and it's a certain degree of realism. Now, I'm not saying that any of these games are hyper-realistic by any means, but I'm just saying that Call of Duty used to be a lot more realistic and believable. Call of Duty used to be a franchise of World War shooting games and modern military shooting games, but now they're becoming more like fictitious sci-fi shooters that come with a casino. It's getting a little out of hand. I've said it before and I'll say it again, the change that fans actually wanted from Call of Duty was just more content. More maps, game modes, weapons, attachments, camos, custom map making tools. These are all things that would have added a ton of replay value to the games that we already had and the games we already loved. If we wanted to get that shit nowadays, we'd have to feed our fucking credit cards to a supply drop or sacrifice a pile of money to the almighty Vonderspork for a chance to get a game feature. So in conclusion, Battlefield's one trailer absolutely obliterated Infinite Warfare's 
trailer. It's completely undisputable. Just check out the dislike ratio. It's totally not skewed in any way. Just keep in mind that both of these trailers were just game engine trailers and they don't actually show us any real meat. Right now, I'm just hoping that Battlefield 1 can actually live up to the hype and I hope that Activision and Infinity Ward can step their shit up and show us that Infinite Warfare will be a game worth buying and playing. Otherwise, people will only be buying their game because people want a chance to relive the glory days of Call of Duty 4. If you want to do that, just buy it for the 360 or the PC. Sure, the remaster is going to have some upgraded graphics, but you're going to have less content. You're going to enjoy Call of Duty 4 a lot more if you have the full game. Regardless of all the hype, it'll be interesting to see if Battlefield could actually outsell Call of Duty this year. It truly would be shocking as hell if it happened, and I think it would be a serious wake-up call to Activision. But based off of the numbers that we've seen in the past, it does not seem likely to happen. Again, I love both of these franchises. I'll be buying both of these games, and I'll be playing them a shit ton this year. And I really just hope that they can both deliver some very fun and amazing experiences. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did and you're excited for Battlefield 1 Infinite Warfare or Call of Duty 4 Remastered, make sure to drop a like, and I'll see you guys later. Battlefield has the greatest graphics ever. Shut the fuck up. Counter-Strike Go is the greatest competitive game ever made. Shut the fuck up. Call of Duty supply drops are so nifty. Please, shut the fuck up.